tonight we're gonna to cook some rabbit. Yummy. If you've never tried rabbit, or you can't find rabbit, you can do this with chicken. But rabbit is beautiful, it's wonderful, whether it's domestic or hunted. It's delicious. It's absolutely wonderful. Now the consistency, it can be a little tough. There's no fat on these guys. Right. So you have to add some things, and you have to mm -hmm. kind of you have to cook them for a good long time. You got to make sure there's moisture there; right. it'll dry out. It's got a sweet flavor, though. I think it's it good. does have a sweet good. flavor. Rabbits have been domesticated for literally thousands of years. The Romans used to have little courtyards, really, where they raised rabbits. They were that infatuated really? with rabbit meat. Here we've got a rabbit meat already cut up. Mm -hmm. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little baking going. Okay, that's me. Yeah, and I'm not gonna get that going real hot. I just want to get it cooked. I want mainly the fat and the salt and the flavor from this bacon. Right. This is uncured bacon. That means no nitrates. All right, so we're gonna get this started. And while you're doing that, Mrs. Farmer, I'm gonna get this started. Okay. We got our cast iron fired up tonight. We got our enamel cast iron right here. I think the basis for any good meal. Butter. Butter. I agree. Butter, butter, butter. Hi, hey, Mrs. Farmer. Yes. I'll stir that bacon for you and I'm okay. gonna keep an eye on it. I don't wanna burn my butter. I'm gonna turn that down a little. I'm just melting it. Alrighty. I would like to chop those shallots up, if you Alrighty. will. You want all these? Let's do, yeah, let's do, let's do the two big ones. The biggest, okay. Put it in your little cowboy chopper made of cowboy plastic. That's right. Mine from the uh, plastic mines in Montana. That's right. I love it. I love my chopper. Ta-da. You ready now, for them? Yes, let's go ahead and pop those in. Now we're going to lightly saute these, and then we're going to set them aside. Okay. So, not too long ago, we were talking about if you had to buy a fresh fish. Right. For example, the striper that we catch and love to eat. Oh, yeah. $218 wow. for an 11 pound striper. Yeah. Wow. This resource that we have is awesome and fantastic and wonderful. Tonight, we're also going to make a dip that's absolutely wonderful. Mm -hmm. And we're going to make another dish that is just fantastic. And a lot of times, People say, how in the world are you ever going to have enough ideas? You're going to run out of stuff to cook. We're adventurous eaters. Every time we go out to eat, last night I had some duck. Yeah. And I started thinking, how did they do this? Mm -hmm. So I, I tried to break it down in my head. What are these tastes that I'm getting? Right. And I think I got it. We're going to experiment. more. Yes. Yeah. We're going to experiment tonight because most of the time when you get duck in a restaurant, you get a tiny yeah. little hunk. So we're going to show you something with duck. Now, any of these recipes you can do, you can use alternate meats if you want. But there are places around where you can buy duck and rabbit and things like this. If you yeah. look and dig just a little bit, there are places you can go. All right, you'll notice I'm not doing this on a real high heat. Mm-hmm. This smells really good. And this is fine if you'll hold this up here. Okay. I'm gonna dip these into here. You see where we're going? I do. We'll just you set like these aside? I do, it smells good. A little olive oil in here, my grandfather called it. Now, we're gonna take some flour with a little salt, a little pepper. That's your dipper. And we're just gonna lightly, I mean lightly, dip this rabbit in here, lightly. Okay. We're gonna get this brown. What do I wanna do here? We may save some, I'll tell you what let's do. Let's for sure do the legs. The best part, the legs are always oh. the best. Oh, let's lay there. We're gonna get these nice and brown and start the cooking process. You know, mom said when, when they were little, when their dad would get a rabbit, he always brought it in. He'd freeze it, cut the pieces, and they'd sneak in and take the legs out and cook them. And he'd go to eat, cook his rabbit and there were no legs left. Ooh. Yes, because everyone liked to fry a leg up. Did anybody get in trouble? <laughs> and Helen. Get in trouble. <laughs> the legs are the best. And just a little bit of flour. And I'm not going crazy here with my temperature. There's a three-legged rabbit. Nope. There's his other one. Let's go with just legs. And that that sounds good to me. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Farmer, I know you're going to like this. I love rabbit. So as you graduate your cooking skills mm -hmm. in life, you will remember a recipe that you did and say, ooh, we did this thing with mustard, and we did it with beer, and we did right. it with this and that, and you think, how would that translate to such? That's how you kind of learn. Now, Kelly really liked a roast we did, a venison roast that That's I did right. with beer. It gives it that nice yeasty flavor and mustard, so yes. I thought, okay. Now, we've done our rabbit almost just like this. You remember the times that we've done this and, mm -hmm. we, and we put sour cream and onions Mushroom in it? Soup. Then you put it yeah. in the oven. Yeah. Anybody can do that and that's good. But we're going a little step further tonight. We're gonna kinda mimic that flavor profile. And again, we're not trying to Smells cook good. it to death here. We do wanna brown it though. So now, you folks out there that are saying, ew, that's rabbit. 
if you tried rabbit a long time ago and it wasn't good, you may want to try it again because yeah. guess what happens when you get a older? Your, your tastes change. Mm -hmm. Don't limit yourself to one or two things. Right. Be adventurous. I remember certain times in my life I hated beets. Now you Couldn't love them. Couldn't eat them. I love beets. <laughs> I love them. You ever remember something that you didn't like that you like now? Yeah. What? Well, actually, no, because I've loved everything. I don't think there's anything I haven't liked, to be honest with you. Yes, there is. What is it? You would not eat raw oysters. Oh, that's right. You're right. Uh-huh. You, I love them. guess eat, what happened? That's the only way I can eat them now. Guess what happened? <laughs> and you completely changed, and now... And now you don't you don't need a cracker you don't, don't need anything. anything on them you just absolutely I love want to them. taste them a little bit of lemon you're right you That's absolutely love your so I've always kind of liked them but I changed how I eat them because of you so be adventurous mm -hmm. don't be one of those people saying ew there's nothing worse than somebody who says ew yeah. e -W, 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 w w w That's right I want to I want to I want to talk to them and say please try this yeah now if it's chicken feet. I can kind of understand that. Yeah, There's some some things that are just visually, <laughs> but look at this. Look at this yeah. beautiful meat. Is there anything that looks anything different from chicken or no. anything else? No, and it smells amazing. It's absolutely wonderful. We're going to set this aside. Okay. Just for a second. I'm going to set this over here. So, what are we going to do? Deglaze. Okay. What's that? Chardonnay? Chardonnay. Chardonnay. So we're going to get all those little scrapies off the bottom. Mm, it smells good. Plus, we need that for taste. Yeah. Now, how many dishes have you seen us do that has white wine, lemon, cream, and chicken broth? There's yeah. a lot. A lot of things that really, and that's, that's where you kind of come in and say, okay, that worked over here. Mm -hmm. How would it work over here? Well, in this case, it works really well. So, let's see now. If you'll take my shallots, okay. dump them back in. We'll do it. See where we're going? I do. Our oven is preheating to 300. So, if you'd like to take that bacon. Mm hmm Let's just dump everything in here, including the bacon grease, because okay. we get that salt, we get that hickory flavor. And let's just leave the remaining grease in there because I'll need that for something later. Okay. Wow. So, Mrs. Farmer. Oh, that looks, that's, do you oh, see I can where eat we're that going? Now. Yes, I now do. Let's take this back put in. It back in here. There you go. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, let's take some chicken stock. Yeah. We'll put about a cup of that in there. We might end up doing a little bit more because okay. these rib cage pieces are sticking out a little bit larger than normal. Let's go a half a cup of cream. Oh, good. Cream. Yum. Mm-hmm. And mustard. Have to think On each that. piece? Now, you, you no, put some in, put your, in with your venison. Yes. My grandmother put it with the pork chops. Yes. That's mm. at least two tablespoons. Yummy. Now, if you don't like mustard by itself, a lot of people don't. Yeah. Try it in some recipes. Okay, so since this is rabbit, oh, you know what we need, Miss Farmer? Hmm. I need you to just squeeze some garlic in here. Okay. I'm gonna put a little more salt, a little more pepper on here. And I'm gonna take some thyme because it is rabbit, you know? That's right. We'll fish those out later. I'm gonna take some dried thyme and I'm gonna put over top of this. Now, after this has been in the oven for maybe an hour, I'm gonna turn these over. So we have taken two cloves of garlic mm -hmm. and put in here and we're gonna just coat this a little bit. Mustard. So. What do you think, Mrs. Farmer? I'm starving. 300 degrees, a couple hours, and we're going to check it in one iron and see where we're at. We want that meat falling off the bone. Right. Now, as the juices cook into that, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, let's put the top on this. Ready? Pop that in the oven. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the rabbit out. Okay. We're going to set the rabbit aside, then we're going to reduce those liquids down. Mm -hmm. Now see, I've got that on a high temperature. You see all the little it's, reduction yes. bubbles, we like to call them? It's getting nice and thick. I like oh, it. Oh, now I'm going to bring that temperature down a little bit because we're almost ready. Look at those potatoes, Mrs. Farmer. I am ready. So I'm going to take these potatoes, drain them off on a paper towel. Okay. We're going to plate this thing up, pour some juice over everything, and boom, we're good to go. Be right back. I'm ready. Okay, you heard people say rabbit's tough. Yeah. When I picked this up, Nikki, it fell apart. Everything was falling apart. I had to be. Look at this. And I'm barely touching it. You are feeding me good today. <laughs> Can I try it? Bite. Oh my word. You know what? We've been doing like three recipes for show. You're getting your money's worth, folks. That is good too. This is like almost my favorite recipe too. Like restaurant oh, wow. type stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't get it this good in a restaurant. That's good. I want one of your potatoes too. 
like a potato chip. That's my favorite rabbit dish. Mmm. Oh, the potatoes are good. They're crunchy. You hear the crunch? Mm-hmm. I love to pick these oh, up. Oh, wow. Those are really They're good. They're almost like a chip. I'll dip them in your sauce. Oh, this is really good, too. <laughs> now, look. Look at the color of that meat. Look how white and, and tender that is. Mmm. Just falls off the bone. It's right up there with number one. I don't know which one I like best, to be honest with you. That was the most delicious rabbit That's so I've had good. in a long time. Potatoes are beautiful. I don't know how you're getting better potatoes you than can. that. You that, can. Those were really good, too. Mrs. Farmer, here's the, here's the scary part, though. This is my favorite part. <laughs> Our half hour's up. Oh, I What happened? Eat. I know. So, if you want to find some of these recipes, where would you go, Mrs. Farmer? I go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. There's all kinds of recipes mm -hmm. on there from everything in the world. And we also have how to build a smokehouse, right. how to make sausages, how to cure a ham, so on yeah. and so forth. But now, we've got to say goodbye because this is not going to get any better or any warmer than it is right now. I can't wait to eat this. Most farm, it's all about good times, good friends. You're really good to eat. You outdid yourself. We'll see you next week on a brand new Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Yeah. Let's chow.